This video is sponsored by PCBWay. At the end of the video, I'll show you just how easy it was to use PCBWay's rapid prototyping service to order parts for this project. Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam, and what is this contraption on the back of my drone here? This is a custom designed, I call it a 3PV camera mount. That's third person view. You got first person view with this camera right here. But uh, sometimes you want to see the drone and see what's going on because it looks awesome. That's what this guy is for. We got the Insta360 Go 2 on here, and uh, which is also in another little 3D printed case mount thingy dingy, uh, which I didn't design that one. But this arm here I designed uh, had PCBWay print this for me in resin. What? Whoa! Whoa! It's so clear and so heavy. Oh, I guess I thought there was going to be infill, but there's there's not. Well, it's all infill. It's all filled up. Look at that. Whoa. Whoa. Wow, 55 grams. That's a lot of grams. It's so clear, it's crazy. There are like a tiny little bit of bubbles in one part. You can barely, barely, barely see the layer lines. It looks acrylic, plexiglass, or gla just glass. It's very, very clear. I think that's awesome. We're gonna see what that looks like uh, here, see if, it's, uh, if, see if it is indeed kind of more invisible. Uh, that's not really the idea to make it invisible, but the less visible it is, the more it will just look like there's this you know, camera somehow attached to the back of the drone, like, like it's, I guess, even more like it's in a video game. So we're gonna try it out. This quadcopter is a custom build, a seven inch T-Motor Velux motors and stack and whatnot. We got the DJI 03 air unit on there. And then what you probably noticed is that I do have the Octoblade V2 on here. This is a new Octoblade uh, design and it's uh, smaller and lighter than the original version. So I have a full video about this if you wanna go check it out. Eight blade, seven inch propeller, cool. Also, these have just been left on here ever since the first flight that I did with these, testing them out. So I guess this will be kind of a test of longevity of 3D print under pressure. This mount is 3D printed also by PCB Way UTR 8100 resin. All right, let's slap a battery on this baby and get going. Okay, here we go, let's do a little flying. Very small balance point. So let's just kind of get flying around here. We got, yeah, we got a lot of bumpiness, a lot of turbulence. Whoa, they got rid of that goalpost. Goalpost is gone. Whoa. Let's just kind of fly out over here. Get some kind of cool shots. Going kind of, kind of low over this grass, like that. It's a little, little tricky with the controls and the. It's, it's very, very wobbly. So, there's that. Pretty touchy too. So that's not ideal. Let's go ahead and like kind of uh, orbit this, huh? Let's do a little orbit. Orbit around here. Let's see what that looks like. All right, we may have some traffic. I'm not sure if that's a truck or not, but we're gonna get down low. down below these poles. This is our safe space. And landed it, boom, there you go. So, you may have noticed in the video there, it was bobbling around a lot. And that's because we've got uh, a lot of weight in the back here, and this whole mount weighs way more than it uh, was supposed to, uh, because uh, I didn't specify that it needed to only have like a certain amount of infill. So it was just 100% infill, uh, which means that it was, it was printed essentially solid uh, instead, of, instead of like mostly air 
or you know having a lot of air pockets inside of it to lighten the overall weight and then we have the go to on the back here that's going to add a lot of weight so i did move the battery up front a little bit the problem there is if you have a lot of weight in the back and a lot of weight in the front the balance point for the drone is going to be a very small area and if you get outside of that area it's going to want to tip one way or tip the other way a lot so that's why you get this wobbly vibration kind of thing uh, like slow vibration going on uh, which is really not ideal and the flight controller has a really hard time figuring out what's going on to to make the drone fly right so it does fly um, and it's you know fairly controllable um, but definitely not what you want for optimum performance you know what i just realized i'm going to call this a scorpion tail that's what it looks like and that sounds way cooler arming <laughs> Definitely have some vibrations going on. Oh, that's right, it's going to say low battery most of the time. So there you go, folks. If you want one of these super cool scorpion tail third person view mounts for yourself, you can download the STL file to 3D print one from rcwithadam.com. I'll have a link down in the description below this video. And uh, hey, if you want to check out PCB Way, uh, they can print you one of these. Just make sure you don't do 100% infill. Um, and I'll have a link to PCB Way down at the bottom of this video. In fact, Right now, we're going to jump back to PCBWay.com and I'm going to show you how the process went for ordering this in case you're interested in ordering something from them as well. Thanks for watching and uh, watch this next part or just leave it playing to help with the analytics. That would be great. But if not, thanks for watching. Get out there and fly something and I will see you again very soon. And now here we are on PCBWay.com. We're going to start by going here to uh, CNC 3D printing that tab. We're going to click on 3D printing because that's what we want to do today, but they do have all kinds of other options. And then it's super simple. We're going to drag and drop our STL file. That's the kind of file I'm using. So here we go. Here's our, uh, our uh, camera mount file. First, we want to make sure that it's uh, in uh, millimeters, which is what I designed it in. Uh, the quantity, uh, we just want one. And then we can choose the material and then the kind of the type of, uh, of, of, of material or type of resin in this case. So we're gonna do resin and we're going to do uh, UTR 8100, which is transparent. And I've used this previously. It's super duper clear. I really like it. Um, and that's kind of what we're going for, mostly for, for, for my purposes for this. I wanna see if we can get it really clear so that it will kind of not show up uh, in the camera view. But, you know, we'll see how that goes. And we're gonna stick with the transparent spray varnish. Okay. Now, um, they don't give us the option for infill, which is interesting. So I don't know if that's just kind of a um, default um, amount for resin printing. I don't know much about resin printing. That's why I'm having PCB Way do resin printing for me instead of me uh getting a resin printer and all that stuff so surface finish we could dye this or something if we wanted to that will increase the price um, but i'm not going to because i just want it to be totally clear we don't have any technical drawings we don't have any tapped threads or holes no inserts no part marking and then no part assembly and then the printing risk um, you can do wall thickness risk taken so this way uh, they if you're sure that you want them to try and print your item 
Um, like for example, I design with 3D printing in mind, or I might even do a test print so I know that it can be printed. But in this case, the wall thickness risk, if there's something that's too thin that they think might break during the printing process, um, they will, they'll let you know and they'll say, Hey, this is an issue with this needs to get fixed. Or do you want us to just go ahead with it? So in this case, I'm just going to tell them to go ahead with it in case there was anything. And then product description, um, we're going to say other, but that's for like, uh, customs purposes. Okay. If we wanted to 3d print something else, we would just drag and drop it here again, but we don't want to, we're all good. We're going to scroll back up to the top. The uh, subtotal for the part is 3386. Hit submit request. And then, uh, so they say it doesn't make sure your files don't contain any of the following. Nope, that's fine. Okay, now they're going to ask us to either sign in or uh, sign up with your account. Uh, I already have an account, so I'm going to sign in. And here we are, you'll be in your like account uh, page here. So right now it says being reviewed and it will, uh, they'll reach out to you uh, usually via email or I think possibly on the website in the little chat thing. Um, and they'll say, hey, we can print this and this is how much it's going to cost. You want us to go ahead with it? And you'll say, yeah, buddy. And that's really all there is to it. And then they'll uh, ship it to you. Really pretty much that simple. So if you uh, need some rapid prototyping done, you might want to check out PCBWay.com. I'll have a link to them down in the description below this video. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Keep on creating, keep on flying. I don't know why my voice is cracking and have a fantastic day. And I will see you again very soon.